<laughs> Yo, you had one of my favorite quotes from our last interview. You said, um, taking care of your family, that's gangster. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. robbing, stealing, killing, that ain't gangster. Being able to make sure your, your family's safe and taking care of them is gangster. Absolutely. And I was wondering, like, that's something we had to learn. Absolutely. But you freshly out of prison, you still got to go home. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. By the grace of God, you was, out of get, you was able to get out there, but even that takes some time to be able to transition. Absolutely. Right? Do you feel still to this day that, like, the streets is kind of, like, pulling you back to the original, what we thought was gangster? Like, the streets is pulling you to that. Nah. No? Nah. Because you, re you reach a point in life where you don't even allow that to happen. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, and I say that to say, it's certain conversations I don't even indulge in. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Um, it's certain. It, it's hard to put it in in terms, but like as a man, it's certain things that I don't even indulge in no more. So I'm I'm not even gonna put myself in a position as to where you you might attempt to pull me back into doing something that I don't want to do. Mm. You feel me now? Do I go see my friends and family? Absolutely, I do. I know, but I know when when to come out and when not to come out, and I know when to leave and when mm. to stay too. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's all about. Decision making. A lot of things that I, I would have done back in the day, I'm just simply choosing not to do it at, at this day and age. I wish we all could think like that, but I think thinking like that comes from having to go through something. Absolutely. Like, because if you, <laughs> when you go through something, it's like you know that, bro. I, I know what's up. Y'all know what's up. I ain't got shit to prove to right, y'all. Right. Like, I don't have to come out at this time. Like, mm -hmm. y'all got it. But it'd be the ones who ain't really go through nothing that feel like they got to prove everything. But who, who's the judge? Because we've been there. Absolutely. We've been, we've been in a point where we wanted to prove something. And that's why I don't get mad. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, I used to think, like, coming up, one of the most cowardice things I used to hear when I was from four years old always up was just walk away. Mm -hmm. I used to think that was the most cowardice thing I ever heard in my life, right? Just walk away. Now that I got kids, mm -hmm. now that I done went to prison, now I done seen a nigga die with a, a wall phone on the phone. I seen a nigga die with a piece of chicken. I seen a nigga die over getting a ride from down the street, like from from where your car parked at to where, the, where that Mexican restaurant at. I seen a nigga die because a nigga told him no about that. Mm. So I say that to say, all these things I saw walking away might be one of the most gangstest things you could do right now. Mm, mm, you know what I'm saying? To save you the lawyer fees, the funeral fees, this child having PTSD or whatever they growing up with because you dead and gone and never coming back or they done seen your murder on YouTube and now they can't see it. Before you let, allow all that to happen, walking away might be one of the most gangstest things you could do right now. Mm. And I'm going to add to this. Not to keep saying where we come from, but it's real, bro. Yeah. That was our environment, bro. Yeah. It's, it's what it is. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's great that we could talk like this now that we out of town. And, <laughs> yeah, it's like, bro, nah, that's where we come but from. Go ahead, though. So like, when we came up, like, all we knew was fight, protect ourselves, shit like that, right? Yeah. So let me give you another perspective. Imagine it, that's the hard thing to do to walk away. Because yeah. all you know is go. Right. It's been times where I swear to God in my life, mm -hmm. I literally had tears coming. You got to ask my ex. Like, <laughs> I cried because I had to walk away from a fight. Yeah. Because a nigga tried me, and in my mind, all I knew was, this nigga think I'm a pussy. <laughs> I, like, in my mind, it's like, bro, that's so hard to re reshape your thinking, bro. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's frustrating. Not frustrating, but it gave me chills because, like, I know kids out there who can't, who, who aren't able to, like, separate their thoughts from, right. you know what I'm saying, their emotions. Yeah. And it's like, bro, I remember crying, like, Yo, I want to punch this nigga in the mouth. Right. But it's not smart. You got more to lose. Just walk away. Just, bro. Yeah. That is really hard, bro. Yeah, like, absolutely. it's hard. Like, um, <clears throat> piggyback off what you just said, like, my little homie, little Kai, right? Under the label, little NSC Kai. He from the South Side, right? Kai just turned, like, what, 18 or 19? You know what I'm saying? He just lost his best friend, Rax. Shout out 23 Racks. He just lost his best friend Racks to the streets to gun violence, right? And he from a hood just like I'm from a hood, just like you from a hood in Baltimore. And some of the things I hear him say, I know for a fact, bro, you shouldn't do that. Mm. I'm, a, I'm about to give you every reason why you shouldn't, shouldn't do that. But I know for a fact that at his age and what he's been taught coming up on the South Side, he feel like there's no way I could do that, bro. There's no way I could walk away from this situation. Mm. Mm -mm. You know what come behind me, and I do. You feel what I'm saying? And that's why I, I be trying to talk to his older homies, you know what I'm saying, and be like, yo, we gotta see the bigger picture for Kai, we gotta want this for Kai, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But at the same time, I know what he going through. 